This is a video on how to download, install and license Spatial Excel. It is an updated video that replaces previous videos on this subject. My internet connection is not very fast, so I like to use a good download manager to assist me with my downloads. You can download the one I'm using at freedownloadmanager.org. Simply download FDM and install. For information about Spatial Excel, you can visit our product website at spatialexcel.com or our company website at primethought.biz. On the spatialexcel.com website, there's also online help where you can open various subjects and look at that. Or you could even search on keywords. To download Spatial Excel, you click on Downloads and at this point you will be redirected to the main website which is primethor.biz. To access Downloads which is not appearing on the site, you have to either log in or register on the primethor.biz website. Once you register, it will automatically sign you in. Now you will see the download section appearing on the left hand side. This is the latest version of Spatial Excel and when you click on this, and if you are using Free Download Manager or another download program, a dialog should open up and ask you where you'd like to save it to. I would like to save mine to my desktop. You can set this to launch when the download is completed. While the download is running, I want to show you how to uninstall a previous version of Spatial Excel. It is very important to do this step because the installation will fail if you've got a previous version of Spatial Excel already installed. Go to your control panel, uninstall a program, Go to Spatial Excel and click Uninstall. As you can see, Spatial Excel is no longer in my list of programs, so it has successfully uninstalled. While this download is going, I'm going to show you how to get an evaluation key for Spatial Excel from the Client Manager. If you have already purchased the key for Spatial Excel from Prime Thought, you will of course use the key that you have purchased. Send an email to Client Manager at PrimeThought.biz requesting an evaluation key for Spatial Excel and please mention the company that you work for, the post or job that you do and what kind of files you work with in your request. The client manager will then send you a key and you can save this leak file which is your license file somewhere where you will find it again. Spatial Excel has now been downloaded and we can launch it. Before you install Spatial Excel, please make sure that Excel 2007 or 2010 is closed and not running during the time of installation. 
it will install some Microsoft components. In this case, it's doing a fix of some components. You just agree to all these different Microsoft components. You will need admin privileges to do this installation. Please take a note of this information screen. If you are an Excel 2007 user, you have to install for your user only. You can choose, if you are Excel 2010 or above, whether you want to install for everyone or for your user only. I am an Excel 2010 user, so I can leave it at everyone. Now we get the screen installation complete. Spatial Excel has successfully installed. Click close to exit. So we have now installed Spatial Excel. After installing Spatial Excel, you will see the Spatial Excel tab. This is the ribbon that represents features in Spatial Excel. We are now going to reference our license key. When you click on About Spatial Excel, you will see that we do not currently have a valid license installed and you can update this license by loading the license from a file. That is where I saved my previous license. Now if I open my Spatial Pane, it will load. If you have a server license, you put in the URL of the server machine with a license and it will get the license which is a concurrent license from the server. And again, using a valid server license, I can show my spatial pane. Once you can see the spatial pane having been loaded, you know that you have correctly licensed Spatial Excel. One of the issues you could have is that you might not be able to download from our website. The reason for this is that IT departments often put up a firewall to block downloads from sites because of security reasons. The possible solutions for this problem is one, to ask IT to allow our site as a trusted site on your network. Two, ask IT to download spatialexcel.exe for you. Or three, allow Prime Thought to upload spatialexcel.exe to an FTP site on your network. In all these instances, unless you are using your private internet, you will need IT's assistance. Another problem that a user might have is that he can't see the Spatial Excel add-in in Excel. One of the reasons this could be is that you might have installed with the incorrect option when being asked whether to install for your user only or whether to install for all users. To fix this is very simple. Open the Spatial Excel control panel from all programs and in here you can simply change the option that was incorrect for instance, enabling Spatial Excel for current users, enabling it for all users if you are Excel 2010, etc. Another reason why you might not be able to see Spatial Excel in Excel is that the add-in might have been turned off in Excel. To fix this, you do the following. Go into File, Options. Add-ins, then to COM add-ins, and here you can turn Spatial Excel on if it has been turned off. Another problem you could have is that the server license won't load even though it worked correctly when it was installed. 
This we found when the server time was different to other machines on the network and it is handled by setting the server time to be the same time as other computers on the network. Another problem you could have is if Spatial XL won't install, the download might be corrupted. This often happens when you have a very bad internet connection. Using a download manager assists with this type of problem. Thank you very much.